we asked a group of guys and their families to share their experience of testicular cancer and germ cell cancer, from diagnosis through to survivorship. It's in the experience. I had to have lymph nodes removed from my stomach, first and foremost, so um, they had to cut through and get to the lymph nodes and stuff and then obviously remove one testicle. Uh, but they sort of messed it up a little bit as they were doing the operation, so they had to stop my heart from beating for a while, go in there and then sew it all back up. Uh, so yeah, I, was, I can't remember how long I was in there. I was in there for a while, I think, wasn't I? I think it was something like, I can't remember, it was about, it was about a week, something like that. I can that. remember, 11 days. 11 days, there you go. In, in intensive care, you were in 11 days. Yeah. Uh, it's called a retroperitoneal lymph node dissection. And um, basically it's uh, to cut you open from, from there to there. And uh, I was in for six nights actually in the BRI for that. And uh, I had 36 staples in me afterwards. So I've got this lovely scar there. And uh, it was, I was quite nervous about that actually. Uh, because all the way along, oh, you've got testicular cancer. What would we do? Well, we remove your testicle. Oh, actually, it's spread a bit. What do we do? We give you chemotherapy. Ah, well, that hasn't quite totally worked. What are we going to do? We're going to have to give you a dissection. So each time it was what we're going to do. And I was very pragmatic about that and sort of said, OK, well, what do we do next? And took it uh, on the chin, if you like. But um, that was quite a big operation, and I was quite nervous about that. So I came the night before, and I, as I say, I spent six nights in um, the BRI, uh, and it all went very, very well indeed. And in fact, the post-op, it was... OK, so I was a bit stiff, couldn't move about very much at all, couldn't get out of bed. And, but the staples were the least of my worries. I had a, a drain hole, which isn't stitched up afterwards, and that was really sore, and that took a long time to, to heal. So um, I, uh, I came home from that and potted about, and two days later, she, Claire dragged me around the house that she wanted to buy because she wanted to move. And uh, I said, anything, I, I, I really state, don't care. <laughs> I really don't care because I just want to get over this. You can do what you like. Um, we but, didn't buy it. Yeah, but it was, um, it was, it was a serious operation. However, um, it's done the trick. And I think that, uh, you know, if, you know, there will be other, other guys in future who will need that sort of thing. And, you know, I would say, you know, if you're advised to do anything, you need to take the advice that the the uh, oncologists and team mm. provide for you.